Good morning, Pastor Tyrone P. Jones, Church for the City, Yuma, Arizona. Indonesian lawmakers passed legislation that criminalizes sex outside of marriage as a part of a larger attempt to bring people in line with Islamic morality. The country already had laws against adultery and homosexuality, but they did not pertain to premarital sex. Along with that, new regulations for, forbid cohabitation before marriage, apostasy, blasphemy, insulting the president, or expressing views that go against the national ideology and even protests without notification. On first glance, even as an American, we shouldn't approve or applaud any of this because it basically outlaws God-given freedoms. Another concern is that the new laws will apply to everyone in the country, including foreign residents and tourists. Yep, even us Americans. With the new law set to go into effect three years from now, they have some time to figure it out. Indonesia is the world's largest Muslim-majority nation, with roughly 87% of the country's 270 million people adhering to that faith. So it should come as less of a surprise that their government would have both the desire and the ability to pass such a law. In the Muslim faith, morality is primarily concerned with one's actions. Consequently, if the government can keep people from committing sinful acts, they're helping their people live more in line with Allah's will. And really, that's how most of the world religions, to the extent that they have a concept of sin, that's how they view morality. In Christianity, however, it's a bit different. Know this, we as Christians fully understand why we can't legislate morality. Jesus spends a large portion of the Sermon on the Mount describing how it's not enough to simply avoid sinful acts if we fail to address the sin in our hearts. That's in Matthew 5. Jesus starts his sermon by describing the character he expects from his disciples before ever really addressing their actions. Then he makes clear that God has always been concerned with our motivations. The problem with trying to legislate morality is that it puts all the focus on our actions. It lulls people into thinking that as long as they aren't doing anything wrong, then they must be all right. The truth is that we are seldom more at risk of acting in a sinful manner than we allow sinful desires to grow undisturbed in our hearts and minds. As a matter of fact, every law against sinful, sinful activity would be unnecessary if we dealt with the sin before it ever rose to that level. Laws against sexual activity of any sort outside of marriage would be pointless if people dealt with the lust that tempts people toward it. Legislation against theft and insider trading would be unnecessary if people address their greed first. And rules outlawing assault would be needless if people handed their anger before it ever became an action. Prioritize righteousness over sinning less. Would people commit fewer sins if more sinful activity was made lawful? Probably so, uh, illegal? Uh, probably so, but would they become more righteous and draw closer to God if that were the case? History says the answer is most likely no. So while it may be tempting to look at laws like those passed in Indonesia and in wish we had a government more capable of legislating people into accepting Christianity or morality, know that even if we did, sin would still be a problem and God is still the only real uh, solution to that problem. We have to trust him and trust Christ to change our heart and make us new.